Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am showing you how to make a donation game like my donation game, which is Sour Studios Donation Game. And if this tutorial helped you out, be sure to check my donation game out on the pinned comment or the end screen. Um, also, this is part one of two or three. Um, I don't know, but first of all, I suggest having a group. Part two and part three are will only be better with a group. And really, if you don't have a group, part one is all you need for this. But if you have a group, it doesn't hurt to add extra onto the thing. So, so here we go. We are going to do a tutorial here. And let's create a new game. And we select base plate and then create the game. Simple tasks right here, then edit. This is pretty easy actually guys. It's it's a, it's a pretty easy tutorial and if you guys need help, the pinned comment will be to our Discord server and you can apply for scripting help and me or a moderator will help you down there any of my my scripting tutorials. So what we do now is we can get started with scripting. Now you can build a map right away. I'm not going to build a map for the video. I there is a nice map that one of our moderators developers made for the game so let's get going here so what we're gonna do is we don't need a leader stats let's just add a script in well no let's add a screen GUI in the starter GUI in the screen GUI let's add a frame and let's make this frame completely across the screen so just like this boom and then we change the background I like um, black specifically which let's find that here background color black and there we go so your background color is black and uh, you can do it what you want but inside the frame we're gonna add a text button let's put the text button to the corner like this like this let's make it um, let's actually put it kinda like right here and then our background color will be red and then our text scaled will be X and then we change it to zero and then our text color will be white and there we go now inside of this text button let's add a local script into the into this and let's type script.parent.mouse button one click colon connect function and then script.parent.parent.visible equals false. That's all we need to have. That will just close. And inside our frame, we can add a text label like this. And we can size it so it's like actually big. Like this. And then we can change the background color. Sorry for hearing noise in the background. They never know when I'm recording, I guess. But here we go. And hopefully I get a new computer in the basement where it's actually private. Anyways, we change the text scaled here. We can change it to donate. Not that. Donate. And then you can add other things. I'm going to duplicate this, put it to the bottom, and I'm going to put total donated. And what I, I, I don't really script this. I just come back customly. This is why having a group is a great idea. Now actually this is kind of showing it what without a group. So without a group, actually you don't really need, yeah you I guess need it, but after a group if this tutorial is showcasing if you don't need a group, just a basic donation game. So now we're going to add another text button into the frame. Into the frame guys. Make sure it is inside the frame. And then we're going to do this and we can make a button. So what we do here is we I like specifically changing the background color to this green right here changing our text stroke transparency to zero and then text scaling and then like two robux so this is showing that you donate two robux now get out of studio and wherever you edited your game click the start place this one right here click that and actually we didn't need to do that we just could have clicked the three dots and configure this place and then go to developer products and this is where we're going to add our stuff so to donate there we go just very simple now we can keep doing this over and over again now for every now let's just uh, 
do it simply and then after we complete it we'll show how to do multiple donations so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna copy this copy the ID and now we're gonna go here we're gonna add a local script inside the donation button and we're gonna do local MPS equals game colon get service marketplace service enter local ID equals our ID we just did there which is our developer product ID then local player equals game dot players dot local player then we enter down and when we do um, script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then we do MPS colon prompt product purchase player comma and then space ID there we go that's a pretty simple script actually so now let's play and see if our donation thing comes down so it should say do you want to buy this uh, donate to for two robux and it's a test purchase so you can actually do it now you might be like why do i have this bar above my above here well that's just the roblox transparent bar i don't like it i don't like how it's there but so we click on the two robux it comes down now it's a test test purchase you don't get anything you don't spend anything just to test so there we go works now this is how to add multiple donation buttons we duplicate the button okay just duplicate it don't don't waste your time doing like just making the button again you can just duplicate it and then I'm just gonna select all of these and then just move them like this and we can do this multiple times you can do it up to infinite times just do it what you like and then we're gonna change this to five five robux so this is just the text it doesn't impact anything so these are examples you don't you can do whatever you want and now we're gonna like get to the scripts here so each one has a local script since we duplicated it and if you're wondering how to duplicate it which I didn't really go through that well just click on it and then on your keyboard press CTRL D at the same time or you can just right click on it and click duplicate but what we're gonna do now is we are going to go back to our developer products create new five donate now this is what we do for our donation then we can just keep going ten donate now each each new button needs a new developer product this is why in my donation game I have over forty options so this took forever to put all the IDs in but it's it's been a success we made six hundred robux maybe you can make even more maybe you'll make a, like a million robux donation some rich person will come by and buy it and you'll just be super rich anyways here we go we have all this let's go to our five robux here's our five donate we copy the ID like this now you can name it differently you could you don't have to name this five donate and then here let's see we have this this is place number 70 what's this local script oh that's from my other game that's from my real donation game and then we're gonna do five robux now we go inside the script here our local script we just delete the ID and simply paste it back in like that and now we go to the ten robux and just repeat it over and over again I suggest maybe putting on some music so you can relax while doing this because it takes a while there we go and then our final was the fifty we just copy this ID go inside the 50 robux script and there we go and you can be more organized you can name each button like 2 5 10 50 or 2 script 5 script 10 script 50 script yeah you can do whatever you want to name it doesn't matter so there we go then our x button is there um, now let's um, there we go we have our donation now let's check it out we still have one more element to our um, game still and then you basically just made a simple donation game now here what we do is now these buttons also work for anything but they have to be inside a frame because I guess that's how we um, actually that doesn't matter we can have it outside of anything pretty sure so now we click on the 50 robux and we just get the 50 click on the 10 we get the 10 click on the 5 we get the 5 now it's not a test purchase in the real game it's not a test in the real game but then everything works fine we click the X boom we get deleted now we're on our base plate
Now you don't have to add the X. You can just let the player join in, only seeing the donation frame. But if you want to play them without this frame on them, let's add, let's make our button. So I'm going to go very quick with the button. Now what we do, X, make sure nothing is dropping down the frame. So it's not confusing. Now this is the most important part, and this is where everyone fails usually. Click on the screen GUI and add a text button into the screen GUI. It not inside the frame. Whatever you do, do not put it inside the frame. That will um, just when you click on it, it will close the frame as well and the button at the same time. So screen GUI, add the text button, and then we're gonna rename our frame to um, frame one. And you don't have to do this, but it's just gonna help with our button script. And I'm just gonna move this over here and name it like donate like that and then we are going to scale this or not scale it but yep we just did scale it now we're gonna change text stroke transparency to a zero and then what we do is the we can color it how you'd like do whatever but now we're now to the scripting so add a local script inside your text button then this is gonna open the frame do local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot frame one now I'm gonna add a comment do not you this is not required this does not affect the script these two dashes and I'm just gonna put frame one equals your frame name that you want to open so that you want to open just add that so frame one guys okay so we go to frame one and I don't want that as the name but let's change it to frame two change you have to change this to frame two then just like that so now what we're gonna do at this point is go to the end here and then enter down there and then we do local open equals false and then we enter down and then script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function like that. Make sure you have those two parentheses there. Make sure you copy exactly besides the frame name. That can be your option. And then we're, and then we're gonna do if frame dot visible equals equals false then frame dot visible equals true. And then we enter and then else frame dot visible equals false. That's all we need for our button, guys. Now, there's other tutorials on YouTube on how to do buttons that actually, when you click, it does a nice animation in, like just a slide in. Those are cool, but we're just going to keep her basic here. And this should wrap up our tutorial if this works for part one. Part two is if you have groups and what you can do with groups and if you want to be motivated or um, um, agreeing to your game to, like, constantly look and edit things there we go our donation button works now you might be like um, how do we do this so the frame is over the donation button good a uh, good um good thought there but I figure that I'm not really gonna figure it out when you can just move it down to the way bottom and then like that so maybe change the color to something different I'm just gonna change my color to orange so it's not green and people don't think in the donation panel just clicking on this to donate so there you go that's part one of two or three of the how to make a basic donation game there you guys go like and subscribe and goodbye. Let's do actually one final test showing what we all did here. So let's just play it. Now, if you are wondering how I made the frame invisible, just go to properties, scroll down when you find invisible, and do that checkbox. Here's our donation button. We can donate a certain amount. Okay. X. That's all you learned in this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other playlists of Roblox t t Roblox Studio. I cannot talk. I feel like I'm rushing my talking. But anyways, be sure to check out the Roblox Studio playlist on the end screen and 
all those tutorials still work. I made a game of all my scripting tutorials, and they actually still work. So those they all still work if you do them right. So see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Join the Discord server if this did not work on the, the Discord server, and go to the, and then you should be going to hashtag scripting apply, react to the message, and you'll be accesses accessed to the scripting channels. And there you go. So bye bye guys. It's been fun making all these scripting tutorials. We've over hundred thousand views combined for all these. So see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Now I'm just gonna put the end screen on here. So let's get her there. Goodbye.